The outcry over President Trump's policy of separating immigrant families has reached a crescendo that extends beyond party lines. Earlier this evening, I spoke with Mercedes Schlapp. She's the White House Director of Strategic Communications. And I began by asking if Mr. Trump is hearing the criticism, including from inside his own party. Well, absolutely. I mean, the president, as he mentioned before, he hates seeing the separation of families. Uh, and even though the separation of families is only for a very brief period of time. Uh, but the reality here is one of the reasons why President Trump is in Congress and speaking to these House members is coming up with a permanent solution, coming up with a fix to this. Only Congress uh, can fix this issue that we're dealing with in terms of ensuring that we're able to secure the border, that we're able to keep families together. Because right now, Judy, we only got two options. The two options it are is that when adults basically cross the border illegally, they'll be prosecuted. Second option is it's either the, so it's either the prosecution, and the second option is releasing these family units into the U U.S. interior, which in essence equates to open borders. So we want that third option. We want the option that Congress is going to come and fix this and ensure that they're able to keep families together so that they could be detained and then swiftly removed back to their country unless they qualify for asylum. But it was a change in approach to this policy, a change in policy by the Trump administration when this started happening. It was six weeks ago. The administration said, we're no longer going to keep these families together. We're going to prosecute the parents. That's the change, isn't it? Well, well, the, ch the change is, is because we're actually enforcing the law. The law wasn't being enforced beforehand. It was actually more of a subjective case or prosecutorial discretion. At this point, it was clear by the Department of Justice that they wanted to move in order to those individuals who are crossing the border illegally. We have to remember that there are ports of entry where these individuals can come in through a legal process and apply for asylum. And when they go through those ports of entry, and there's 26 of those along the 2,000-mile border, uh, that's an area where you won't have your be separated from the family. But as we know, in American law is when you are uh, commit a crime, you can be an American citizen, you will be separated from your family. And this is the case in this situation, which means that if you commit a crime, meaning you cross the border illegally, not through these ports of entry, you will be prosecuted. Yes, you are separated from the, from the, 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 the family for a brief period of time during these uh, the, the hearings itself and then reunited. But so that I is where we are at this point. And what we need is we need Congress to take action to fix this problem. This is very simple. This is about ending a legal loophole. This is something that the president has pushed forward with ending catch and release, where you're able to keep these families together and then be able to either, of course, either hear their cases or well, remove them uh, from the country. But you're saying, so it was an administration decision to enforce something. But my question is, it sounds like you're saying the president, the only thing he'll accept now is having the entire family sent back across the border. Well, again, if they go through these ports of entry, and they are able to, uh, to what we talk about credible fear and apply for asylum, their cases will be heard. We have a very large backlog of cases based on our limited resources, but their cases will be heard. So you have these ports of entries where these families can go through, in essence. What we are seeing, though, well, is these individuals who are coming between these ports of entries. What you're also seeing is that smugglers and human traffic, traffic, traffickers are exploiting these children. You're having parents who are basically sending their children alone, many in the hands well, of that's, smugglers, to get through into our country. And that's and that what is I, not acceptable. Let me just ask you this. You know that what is going on in these countries is there is a dangerous situation. These families are coming because they are being set upon. They have seen violence inflicted on them and family members and right. loved ones by gangs. There's a lawlessness. They're coming here seeking safety. Right. Is so let me it, ask you, is it safe to put your child in the hand of a smuggler? Is it safe, Judy? Well, is it safe to stay in a place in, in either Guatemala or Honduras right. or El Salvador and, where you are dealing with, the, living with those conditions? And, and what, is, what is amazing about America is that we have the most generous immigration laws. There is a legal way to apply to come into our country. In addition to that, if those individuals are doing the dangerous trek into the United States, 
they need to go through the ports of entry, which then they won't be separated from their family. And they there is some backlog asylum. at those ports of entry. Exactly, because of the fact that we've had such limited resources and funding that's coming from Congress. Let me just quickly ask you two other things. One is uh, a number of people are saying the president chose to do this, to enforce this policy six weeks ago, in order basically to leverage this uh, in order to get more money for a border wall. Is that what's going on? Look, this is the, the only political play that's being made right now is the Democrats showing up to these detention centers and making this into this big political issue. We want to have solutions. We want to work with Congress. We want to work with both parties to ensure, as the president did back in, back in October of last year, when he came up with a comprehensive and generous bill on immigration. Finally, Mercedes Schlapp is the mother of young children yourself. What's your reaction when you see these pictures and hear uh, the sounds of these children crying? Look, as I've, I've mentioned before, and for the president and the first lady, we hate seeing this, this. It's sad. It's tragic. It's so tragic, especially when you have smugglers exploiting and taking advantage of these children. It's absolutely heartbreaking. And so this is the type of, of, of what, what we need to stop in terms of ensuring that individuals who want to come to America apply safely. If they're going to go and they're going through the ports of entry, which is through a legal way where you don't separate families, but breaking the law in the country, that in and of itself is, it, it's, is harmful. It's harmful to them and it's harmful to their children. Mercedes Schlapp at the White House, thank you very much. Thank you so much.